I mean, for me, I think the political moment of the year was when Liz Truss sacked Quasi Quartet. Yes. I mean, you know, as a political journalist... For doing I, what she I, told him to absolutely do. Absolutely gobsmacking yeah. moment. And at that moment, I just knew the government mm. has... Her administration has to collapse. Yeah. So that was extraordinary. And in terms of the highs, they're pretty few and far between. Mm. And you couldn't really call this a high. Um, but I would say that the way that the country came together after the Queen died yeah. and the pageantry of that, all those kind of commemorations in the week after she Well, it reminded was... us that we do have some things we can yes. unite together and about. Some and the, we're good the vast at. majority of Brits came together for yeah. that and uh, felt the same way about it. And we were good at it. Yes. And we're not really good at anything else right now. But so... once again, of course, it was the military, it was the armed forces mm. who came together, the logistics, mm. the, the, the pageantry, the ceremony, absolutely split second mm. perfect. And you sort of say, well, if they can do it, why can't large parts of the rest? It's the biggest of, problem right uh, now. That we just, have we lost the ability to debate in the way we used to? Oh, that is a really important. I question. think to me that's the biggest yeah. problem in society. I, I we should be able to go hammer and tongs and then go and have a pint. What's happened to that? I, it's become so nasty, hasn't it? Mm. So I had a moment on um, Mike Graham's show on talk radio, talk TV last week, where I dared to suggest that not all nurses are angels. Mm. Uh, and that not all nurses work incredibly hard. So whilst I fully support their demand for more pay, and I think that the vast majority of them are overworked, not all are equal. The hatred and bile that has been poured on my head as a result of making that question and suggesting that perhaps the debate could be more nuanced is quite extraordinary. And, and also just some subjects that you're not allowed to debate. Right. You're literally yeah. not even allowed to go there. And I think it's actually, it's corrosive for society and, and it will diminish our ability to there make progress. There should be nothing that we can't openly debate. I've felt this for a while. That's why I wanted to set this show up. It's like this idea that we're all being quietly censored. Yeah. And in fact, not even that quietly now. Whereas things like gender and all this kind of thing, huge issues, yeah. by the way, with massive repercussions for society. That if you mention the wrong word at the wrong time about these issues, you get cancelled. It's like, have we become... This is what North Korea does. I mean, look at the treatment of Lady Hussey. I yeah. mean, I don't think that what she said was right. I think it was clumsy and inelegant and crass and many other things. But I don't think that she needed mm. to be traduced in the way that she, mm. she was over, really, just a mistake. Well, I know that while I'm off next week, you <laughs> two are going to be stepping into the hot... Oh, the first week of January, yeah. right? That's right. Uh, you're in the hot seat in while the hot I seat. lounge on a beach many miles away. We're I will be watching. We'll send you great messages. <laughs> it's, a, it's basically a takeover bit, of course. Of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, best of luck to you in Thank your takeover you. bit. It won't work, but I, <laughs> I do wish you best. And Merry Christmas to both Thank of you. you. Thank Happy you. Good to see you both. Well, to sing us out for the show for the last time this year, we will be back with some specials next week of all the big highlights from Trump to Kanye to Cristiano Ronaldo. But for now, we're going to leave you with the Gospel Touch Choir from London with Hark the Herald Angels sing. That's it from me. I'll see you in early January. Merry Christmas. Whatever you're doing, keep it uncensored.